we only have a few days left before the Holy Week. On Holy Thursday evening, we will begin the Paschal Triduum, three days of liturgical commemoration of the Lord's Paschal Mystery, leading us to the Mass of the Resurrection, which is the highlight of the liturgical calendar. Now, it is good to recall the important events that make up the Paschal Triduum. The evening Mass of the Lord's Supper, the celebration of the Lord's Passion, and the Great Vigil of Easter. At the Mass of the Lord's Supper on Monday, Thursday, we are going to remember how Jesus instituted the Holy Eucharist as a memorial of His giving of Himself in the new covenant that saves us. We are also going to remember the Lord's mandate to His disciples. Then later in that evening, we are invited to accompany the Eucharistic Lord through prayer and adoration at the altar of repose, just as Jesus invited His disciples to stay and pray with Him even for an hour. On Good Friday, we gather to commemorate the passion and death of the Lord. At three in the afternoon, traditionally held as the hour of His death, we will listen to the passion narrative, remembering the enormous suffering He went through so that by His love, we may be made whole. Afterwards, we will venerate the Holy Cross, for through it, Jesus redeemed the world. Then on Black Saturday, we will meditate in silence during the day. But in the evening, we come together for the great vigil of the Lord's resurrection. We will celebrate all the things that the Lord has done for His people, starting with creation, to His saving actions in the history of Israel, to the gift of faith in baptism, and finally, to the Eucharist, that immortalizes the sacrifice of Jesus. On this holy night, until the first hours of Easter Sunday, we will proclaim as did the disciples of old. There you go, brothers and sisters. May the upcoming Paschal Triduum be a transformative one for all of us. Have a meaningful Holy Week.